Eric Freshel here from Fresh Stream Games. The Game Awards are almost here. We're only a couple days away now. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some, a couple predictions that are realistic, but mostly I want to talk about just hopes. What, what I would really, what would make me happy. And then you can put in the comments what makes you happy too. Uh, if, you, uh, if you enjoy it, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video out. Sharing the video out is like the number one thing you can do for me. Um, but let's, let's do some realistic predictions first. Dragon Age Dreadwolf. You know, it's time. Um, they've been... Bioware has shown... They debuted Dragon Age Dreadwolf at the Game Awards. They be, debuted the next Mass Effect at the Game Awards. They're very, very close to Keeley. And that game is supposed to be, you know... Things can change, but it's supposed to be coming out in 2024. So it's time to actually see some gameplay. Especially there was a leak a while ago. Um, it has people divided a little bit because it does seem like a change. It's more action based than other Dragon Age games. So it's time to show it off and convince us that they're going in the right direction. Uh, Elden Ring DLC. Again, that's another developer who has a close relationship with Keeley. They did actually just make a statement yesterday that it's further off than we suspect or that it's still early in development. I still think that even with that, it's probably still going to come out sometime in 2024, maybe late 2024. Um, and but I think they'll get out there and show oh, a little something, you know, um, it's DLC, right? It's not a full game, so they sh it shouldn't take as long as a full game, obviously, even though, you know, FromSoft does seem to do pretty substantial DLCs. Whatever, it, it could maybe not be, but I'm still going to put my money on it and say, yes, I think it's going to be there. Uh, Starfield DLC. We know the name of it, Shattered Space. Um, so, you know, probably about time to get out there and tease it a little bit. I, that's probably not too far off either. And the last more realistic prediction, Sega sent out these envelopes recently to a couple of um, influencers, of YouTubers. And the first one, I thought it was Jet Force, Jet Set Radio, because we, that's been leaked. We know it's coming relatively soon. It was in the same leak as Persona 3 Remake, which comes out in like March. So Jet Set Radio is coming pretty soon. I thought that the invite was that. However, then some more, uh, you know, Maximilian Dude revealed he got one. And Kenny, who is Max's friend, and he's on Yo! Video Games with him, he got one. And all three of the people who got one are all fighting game content creators. So that makes me think it's a fighting game and it's Sega. That means Virtua Fighter. They did Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown a couple years ago now. I think that was priming the waters for Virtua Fighter 6. And now it's going to happen, which also I think it's Virtua Fighter's 30th anniversary this year, too. So that's it for realistic one. But now let's get into some hopes. Actually, the first one is realistic as well. Uh, and that is Monster Hunter. It's time for Monster Hunter, baby. Uh, and the Capcom leak a couple years ago said it was going to come out this year, 2023. That was before COVID and everything. So, you know, it got delayed, understandably so. And now it's time to show that sucker off. Uh, we, I did think it was more of a sure thing before Dragon's Dogma's uh, release date was revealed in March. I thought maybe Monster Hunter would be in that slot and turned out to be Dragon's Dogma. Still, though, I'm going to say Monster Hunter is going to be revealed here. And that's the thing I'm number one most excited about. That's the, like Monster Hunter World's my favorite game of all time. So, yeah, I cannot wait for that. Um, Here's a wild one that is probably just me being nutty. Hades 2 revealing that the new character and Zagreus are both playable not just the new character. It was Zagreus' sister. I can't remember her name now, but Z Zag's sister and Zagreus be playable and possibly even two-player co-op. Now, I know on the Super Giant website, they've actually said it's a single-player game. So, like, I'm hoping that they've changed their mind. <laughs> you know, it's going to be an early access game, so they can do that. <laughs> you know, that, that's probably me reaching really stupidly but whatever that's what i want right and that's what we're talking about hopes and dreams here uh barring that though 
there are two Hades, similar Hades games that are similar to Hades that do have co-op out there. Um, one of them, though, is exclusive to Apple Arcade. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate. Uh, one of them is only on PC and Switch right now called Ember Knights. Um, I'm going to hope that one of those two or both those two will come to PlayStation and Xbox. That, those are smaller games, so that would probably be more of a pre-show announcement than a regular show thing. But... I would love to see that. That would make me very, very happy. Project Swerte has been a leaked thing for a couple of years now from Jez Corden and Jeff Grubb. It is from Certain Affinity and it's a Monster Hunter like. Uh, and it's probably about time to show that off. And that's uh, <clears throat> that's my next one. The reemergence of multiverses. If you have watched this channel for a long time, you know I was a huge fan of that game. I still am. I miss it all the time. It's supposed to come back early next year uh, at some point, probably, you know, April or earlier. And what better chance to show, you know, the world about all the changes and additions they've made in their time off. Uh, so I'm hoping that and plus, you know, Game Awards likes licensed games. It likes Hollywood. It likes stars. So like multiverses is a good fit there. I'm going to even go as far as to say the two characters that I'm hoping they reveal as well as kind of whatever new feature stuff they have. I'm hoping Scorpion and Sub-Zero pop up in it. You know, that's Warner Brothers. They should be in the game, especially Scorpion. But I, I mean, I'm more of a Sub-Zero fan, but I would, you know, they should both be there. So let's cross our fingers for that. Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. This was part of a leak years ago, and then actually very, very recently, uh, one of the producers at Square denied it's true and said, no, this isn't happening. I'm hoping he's lying, quite frankly. I'm hoping he's lying or he's being, you know, tricky with his words. Like, oh, we're not working on a remaster because it's a remake or something goofy like that. Probably not, but, you know, hopes and dreams, right? Um, from Xbox specifically, I'm hoping for either Contraband or Everwild. Uh, both those games have not been seen for a long, long time now. It's time to, if they're ready, if they're still on progress, it's time to uh, show one of them off and really see what those games are. Contraband, we know a little bit more about. It's, you know, it's co-op game, open world, highly uh, vehicle focused, you know, almost, I don't know, open world co-op twisted metal-ish? Don't, I don't really know. Uh, and Everwild, you know, that's been, apparently it's been rebooted several times internally. So like, we would like to see, kind of get more concrete um, details about both those games. The, both of them I still think are, Everwild I think is still pretty far away. Contraband could possibly be late 2024, maybe, but probably more likely 2025. Uh, Twisted Metal, that game, that's a game that was uh, also rebooted internally. That was at uh, the company that did Destruction All Stars. I can't remember their name now, but and then Sony pulled it from them and moved it over to Fire Sprite. Um, Fire Sprite or Firewall? Fire Sprite, I believe. And so, like, that's probably far away now too because of, of the internal reboots. But since the Twisted Metal show is at is nominated for an award this year. It's probably not going to win, unfortunately. It should. It's not going to. I'd like to see it tied into that and shown off. Doke V. Remember Doke V? That was the. At the Game Awards, like two years ago, they showed a trailer for it, and it was one of the most insane trailers we've ever seen, both good and bad. Like, I wrapped. For me, it, it was so ridiculous. It wrapped all the way around to being awesome. And it was long as shit. And it was a. At the time, it was an MMO creature collecting game with a thousand mini games in there and crazy city traversal and a uh, ridiculous song playing the whole time. Apparently, that game has changed somewhat. It's not an MMO anymore. It's now either, I don't know if it's strictly single player, but I think it's, you know, either single player or like small co op, two to four player, something like that. Anyway. I thought that was so absurd that I would like to see it again. Although that's the same studio that is working on Crimson Desert, which is going to come out first. So maybe I'm hoping for too much. Transformers Reactivate was at the Game Awards two years ago, I believe, with a CG trailer. And uh, I'd like to start seeing some concrete info about that. There's some leaks 
I don't know how credible they are. There's some leaks that make it seem like a Destiny like in the Transformers universe. I know at this point there's a lot of gamers who are really averse to, you know, live service games or Destiny likes. I'm not one of them. I'm actually right now. Destiny's so disappointing. me. I've been thinking about Destiny a lot about how much I used to love it and how much I could love it today if they got their house in order. And so I would love for a good replacement and Transformers could be an excellent one for me. Um, so yeah, let's see that again. That's another one. Jeff Keighley likes to put licensed games on his show. And so that would be a great fit. Um, perfect dark or gear six, you know, perfect dark gameplay for sure. I, I don't want to see another CG perfect dark trailer, but if they're ready to show some gameplay, apparently they have made progress. I know there were reports a while back about a lot of people leaving the initiative. Uh, they were having a lot of trouble keeping staff, but then they brought on crystal dynamics. That was a while ago. Jeff Grubb says they've been making pretty good progress. So I'm like to see a little bit of it and gear six reveal too um i know i already said from xbox contraband never wild so now i can kind of realize that i'm loading up on xbox stuff but you know i'm an xbox first guy so that shouldn't be too much of a surprise gear six it's time i hope um uh, you know they did have a original ip they were working on a smaller scale one that they canceled and then started gear six so maybe i'm a little optimistic about that but i love gears i love it so damn much and then finally, just two from Nintendo. And these are two that, like, there's no evidence for these or anything. It's just kind of weird to me that they haven't happened. And that is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker 2 and Snipper Clips 2. And not the biggest games. And obviously, and you know, honestly, they're not going to be launching the biggest games in the last year of the Switch anyway. Like, you know, we, we're getting a Princess Peach game, which looks fun as hell. But like, that's not their, that's not Zelda. It's not Mario. You know, so Captain Toad and Cyber Clubs would be a good fit in there. Like I said, there's there's nothing to point to those actually happening, but it's just weird to me that they haven't yet. And maybe, you know, Nintendo, a lot of times they don't like to do more than one game in a franchise on the same console. So maybe they're saving them for the Switch, too. Could be. Or maybe they just don't. Maybe they're going to drop them. Like Nintendo does that. They dropped F-Zero. They dropped Star Fox. It happens. So, but I'm hoping not. I like both those games a lot. So that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, what are you hoping for? Uh, put that in the comments below. I would love to see it. We're gonna, I'm going to live stream it here on this channel. I'm also probably in a couple days going to live stream uh, Firefight in Halo Infinite coming up. Um, but the Game Awards, yes, I will be live reacting here on this channel of Fresh Stream Games. So come join me then. And if you have what you want to see, if you leave in the comments, I will talk about it in my Game Awards stream, kind of uh, like when we're when we're sitting around getting ready for the show in the last couple minutes. Um, so, yeah, it'll be fun. Have a good day.